we're gonna take a look at a brand new piano from Audit. It is called the Dorian Marco piano. And uh, it's interesting, Dorian Marco is, I guess, the founder of Audit. And the Dorian Marco piano is just uh, been out for just a little while. And it comes with four different piano models or modes of piano, really different things. It's based on a Steinway, kind of like a studio sound. And so you can check out the links in the description there. Let's take a look at this. Now, this is not a contact player instrument. It actually uses the HISE uh, player, and which is uh, a very powerful um, instrument. And that, that way, you know, you're not having to purchase the full version of contact if you don't have it and um, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna pull up the concert. Pull up the concert piano here. And you can see they've got some really interesting graphics things going on. So the mid mic is turned up all the way here. So let's just kind of just kind of see where see where this takes us. Let's uh, turn the verb up just a little bit. And the far mic. I like having this uh, where you can blend it. Okay, I want to turn the reverb off and let's just listen to the individual mics, uh, individual mics themselves. And you can hear how it just kind of is a tight, it's a nice tight uh, studio sound. 14 velocity layers. So let's just, uh, let's just listen to those. Uh, see if we can just kind of catch those, just those very soft. Close, close mic, and and let's just do the same thing and pull the far, pull that far mic in here and uh, just open it up a little bit. Yes, yeah. A lot of a lot of times you don't get that. Um,
there is a lot uh, there is a lot to choose from it, it, that's that's for sure and it's just like when you think you've seen them all that somebody else brings something else out and uh, and it, it it is it it makes it difficult sometimes but I think that's what I love about being able to do this um, is you know you know I, I know that I get you know the libraries uh, get sent to me from the developers and that type of thing. But you know, I I want to be as transparent with you guys, and and I just want to play. That's my thing. It's just like I don't want to. Th this is not a review channel. This is what I would want you to have experiences with me, uh, because I am I am literally experiencing these sometimes for the first time, or just spending brief time with the instruments. Some just so I can just kind of just give my my first impressions and and just explore with you guys and to give you an ability to hear all of these different pianos and all of these different settings uh, so that something's gonna speak to you. One of these pianos, you're gonna hear something that's gonna go, oh yeah, that's that's the sound I'm looking for. And that's what I'm hoping with all of these pianos um, on the channel, that you can just kind of look through those and listen through them and be able to find the one that really uh, will be the voice to, this, to what's inside of you. And uh, it's, just really interesting. Really been nice. And you know, there's there's lots you can say, at, you know, just about the interface and that type of thing. I, I wish they could float this, uh, this out because that would be kind of cool to put that in a separate window. Uh, I could imagine having having something like that down, down below sometimes. But uh, yeah, so we've got, you know, the mechanic noises, of course, and the release. The release noises, and you know you've got control over all of the noises and that kind of thing, and that way you can kind of fine tune those um, to what you would what you would like. Yeah, that close mic is is really nice, and the thing is, it's so dry um, that you can put it in various rooms with the um, with your with your reverbs and that kind of thing. And so it just helps it to be a little more uh, versatile. Let's check out this stage. And it, of course, the interface will change. It's a totally different type of um, type of setting, of, of tone of the piano. So it's a little punchier. This is a little punchier piano. Um, Yeah. A little Keiko Matsui there, <laughs> you know, little, uh, you know. Uh. really cool. You know, Celine, that is just like, that is one of the hardest questions to answer because every piano, every piano has a personality and a character about it. And uh, that's why, that's why, you, you know, if you can listen to different ones and actually if sometimes you can even get demos of them uh, to be able to experience those, it's so hard for me to pick because each one has a voice and has, um, a different personality. I don't know why this one just pulled me in. It's just tight.
yeah, really cool. So we've got um, the timbre, stiffness of the piano. I guess the, yeah, so you can hear how I can pull that all the way up to four and it's a little more, it's a little more brighter. It puts a little bit of bite there. And that's, uh, I, and I think, uh, I think it acts like a formant, uh, a formant control or a, a, like a tone shift, like shifting the formants a little bit just to get it a little bit brighter. I love the fact that this low end, that you can really hit it and get those really double loud. So that just cuts through, especially with this uh, this type of thing. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, Eves, that's the thing. So not only not only do you have hundreds of pianos, you can layer them together. And yeah, so Eves is absolutely right. It's just like, it. It just begins. The single piano just begins, and then you can take and layer and just start going. The the, the possibilities are just really uh, amazing. Um, and Celine, yeah, I've got um, I've got Mrs. Mills and. Um, and Jangle Box, and you can, you can, if you've not saw those on the channel, you might uh, want to take a look at that. Uh, that's really, those are two really fun pianos from Spitfire. So you can adjust the attack, and then the stereo imaging. We can, we can go mono. go all the way full stereo and listen how that widens it starts widening it out and I've got that stiffness up to three so it's kind of got it it's got it hyped a little bit in that uh, higher end so uh, ooh, okay ooh so uh, it's got a hi-fi let's bounce this back down to zero um, oh yeah so it's kind of a tone shaper Let's put the reverb on there. Here we go. good job they did a really good job recording this piano um really cool <laughs> yeah that's cool yeah it's just like that uh, it's like what i always say um it's like it's like that tone that tone just put me right there uh in that um in that song it's just really cool um, it's, it's like, that's what makes it happen. It's the tone and the personalities. It takes you right into all of these different things. Okay, let's go up into the attic. And uh, this is kind of like, um, oh yeah, another really intimate.
And the fact is, this these are all in the same piano. So you've got um, all of these different personalities. And See, we can shape some of the stuff. See, we can make it take a little bit of that softness down and dial that. soften it. Let's just put it back where it was. Let's, uh, let's put on the Unicorda. Um, let's put on the Unicorda layer. Hey, my friend, good to see, see my friend Jake. Uh, just a master. If you guys have never been on Jake's channel, man, uh, he is just a master. Yeah. It does have, it's, it's very ethereal. And I guess it's going for that felted, uh, muted sound. Yeah. And then we've got a uh, really speaker effect here. It's like a, to put it through like a speaker emulation, just to kind of make a sound. Just a little lo-fi stuff here. little crack speaker there. Let's dial that back down. And the echo. Oh yay. Yeah. Let's see. I love I love delays and I love the I, I mean I just I really enjoy I'm enjoying the way that they sample this because you get you get the loud layers and the soft layers and that's it's really cool
And then Stardust, Stardust is interesting because it is kind of like a warping engine that you can combine uh, with the, the main pianos here. And I've, I need to get some more info on, on how this works, but. So it's taking things and kind of warping them and just got different. Uh, yeah. Got a shimmer verb in there. It's just something I need to get some more. I need to dive into some more. So let's put the attic piano and some stardust in there. Little granular things happening. You can hear it more with that. Really interesting things going on here. And then we can adjust the lengths of the uh, shimmer and that type of thing. Let's link it up with the stage. So there's a lot, there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot you can do. Let's go back to the concert grand. Let's just go back to this. Cause this kind of captures it. Oh man. Hey, listen, well, hey, listen, we can have a chord exchange. Uh, there's a lot that, yeah, we'll, we'll just set up, we'll just set up like a chord co-op, you know? <laughs> um, it's great. It's great. My favorite thing to do, man, I'm just like the open chord guy. I just uh, I just so enjoy what open chords bring um, to uh, to the thing. Okay, yeah, I've still got the Stardust on. Let's turn that off. And uh, I just think they did a really good job just capturing this piano. You know, I, I do I do agree with some other uh, other people that are uh, talking about this piano that, you know, this is kind of fun, but it's just like, you know, it would be good to hide it or float it, be able to do something. But I think it's really a beautiful, beautiful piano. So make sure you check out um, all the links in the description. I like a piano that has, uh, that goes out, that the sound goes out, that it just doesn't get stifled. See, it's just got a little decay. You hear it kind of ringing out, and that's the life that I love to hear um, in that piano. Verb is off, and so what that lets you do, it just creates a really cool, intimate, uh, intimate sound. So I tell you what we're gonna do. So as I say goodbye, um, I'm going to uh, just play us out. Uh, hey man, sounds good. So I'm gonna just play us out. Let's see. Um, <sighs> I tell you, every day, uh, every day, man, we get up. Uh, it's almost like we're in a in a boxing match every day. That we get up and we have challenges that are just staring at us right in the face, daring us to just uh, do anything. Um, I tell you, um, it's just like we we want to do certain things. We want to progress. We want to be successful. And it's just like, man, it's just like something is always seeming to be pushing against us to prevent us, uh, to resist us. 
and we find ourselves sometimes knocked down on the ground. And that's why I love that song, Pick Yourself Up. Uh, we've just got to keep picking ourselves up, dusting ourselves off, and starting all over again. I am so thankful for the grace, uh, the grace of God that allows me to do that. Because, you know, I'm on here a lot, and I'm smiling, and I'm having a wonderful time with you guys. But it comes uh, sometimes through a lot of a lot of tears, a, a lot of struggle to get here. And, uh, and we do that. We persevere. We persevere. And uh, so whatever you're going through, you know, the thing is, you can just find the grace to get yourself back up and start all over again. Um, it's just, um, it's what I've got to do. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So uh, thanks again, for everybody, for watching and for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you again. So let's have a little more fun uh, as I play us out. <laughs>